Hey guys, today we're going to talk about this WowTac A2 newest release from WowTac, which is pretty much some kind of subdivision of A Tactical. You remember those guys, the ones that made those uh, really awesome uh, Through Night inspired lights there. You know, whether they're a subdivision of Through Night or whatever. Uh, I don't know, guys. I tell you what, I majored in feminist basket weaving in college, not business, so I couldn't tell you. But this WowTac follows along the line of the A Tactical series which is pretty much super high value lights. Now they have the A2 and the A2S, and just like with the A Tactical, you know, the S is the uh, higher lumen model and the price is about $10 difference. So you get a little difference uh, in your choice. You know, you can get the A2, which is like a 500 lumen light, or you can get the uh, A2S, which is a higher lumen. Uh, I think it's up to a thousand or so. But uh, of course, I think I left my instruction book around but basically this light goes from you know pretty much a small moonlight mode up to 500 lumens uh, four modes um, 90 degree light so this is a headlamp as well as a flashlight and it comes with we'll show you real quick the head uh, lamp thought that was gonna roll away I'm like no way it's a 90 degree light um, very similar to what you get with the through night flashlights which is the rubberized rings that you slide it into and just uses friction to adjust um, says wow tack on it pretty adjustable it fits my big old dome and i can actually adjust it down small enough so it fits on my sun's head so overall really nice it does come with a battery it comes with one of those little usb rechargeables um i think i have one on the bench over here if you don't mind me fussing around i don't like them to be honest i think they're really kind of well this is from a different flashlight they're really kind of underpowered and, and don't work that great I don't really use them, which is why I was just laying there on the bench. So, um, but there's a pretty good variety of batteries that we use. Right now I have the NCR 18650Bs by Panasonic, which are pretty much like the longest battery in history. So it will use those big, long, protected batteries and a lot of the smaller ones too. Um, I do recommend using uh, protected batteries. This has all the usual stuff you expect out of a flashlight, which is the waterproofing and all that jazz. Um, operation, very simple. Very much like Olight, it has the uh, switch on top, rubberized switch on top. One click to turn on. Hold to switch between your modes. High, medium, low, high, medium, low. Okay, double click brings you to your turbo, just like you know, the Olight user interface. And from the off position, a long hold brings you to Moonlight, which is your really low, like, one or two lumen mode. So, essentially, it is... The Olay interface. It's identical. I mean, I had nothing else to say. Um, oops. And no strobe or anything like that, which I forgot about as well. All right. So as you know, it's a 90 degree light. I find 90 degree lights to be very handy, uh, very useful. You know, and this thing quality is there. I think it's really good. It's an interesting design. I really love the 90 degree lights. It started out, you know, with the Olight H1R. I got this old uh, skill hunt that I really like, and then the new Olight. Yeah, I really like the 90 degree lights. I find them to be really, really super useful. Now, for the 20 bucks you're going to pay for this, you're getting a great deal because in reality, your Olight is 90 bucks. I mean, you get more features, but you know, you're also paying 70 dollars more. Take a look at your skill hunt which is essentially very very similar the price on the skill hunt is a little bit more it's like five dollars more but comparatively lumens are about the same and you really don't get much more out of buying the skill hunt so as far as 90 degree lights this is the best value on the market you know of course it's not the best light on the market but you're gonna have to pay more if you want more features and you want more things so overall guys i'm really super happy with it it's, you know, it's what you expect. It's tough. It's rugged. It's, you know, got all those things you expect out of a through night flashlight at a very low budget price. So, I mean, I expect these are going to be massively popular, just like the A-Tacticals. You know, the A-Tacticals have just gotten really good reviews for being... Sure, I'll be right there, buddy. Um, you know, the A-Tacticals have gotten great reviews just because of the fact that they are such a great value. So I expect these to be the same and that they're going to have a great following and sell quite a bit because they just are it's a great value great price good lumen range you know 500 lumens more over that is really you know 
do you need it? Are you willing to spend 40, 50 bucks for an extra couple hundred lumens? You know, it's up to you if you got the money. If you're a rich dude, hey, you know. But uh, overall, guys, good fit finish, good quality, good production, everything you expect. And uh, that price, 20 bucks, it's just a fantastic deal, you know, because like I said, you can use this as a regular flashlight, you can use it as a headlamp, just really good multi purpose item. The only thing I really wish, I really wish there was a little bit of a hollow here in the tail cap so that you could put maybe like a magnetic ring or something in there to make that a magnetic end like the uh, Olays have but other than that guys it's great all right I'm gonna get out of here before my kid gets into the picture <laughs> he obviously wants some crackers so hope you guys enjoyed